you guys welcome back today I'm going to show you all how I created this simple makeup in hair look so if you want to see how I achieved it then just keep on watching So the first thing I'm going to do is moisturize my face and I'm using this new product from Walmart and I absolutely love it. I'm going to leave it list down below. Next I'm going to prep my lips so it be ready once I apply my lipstick. Next I'm taking my NK Brown eyeliner pencil and I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows and I'm going to start off by lining the bottom and just fill them in using stroke motions. Next, I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn, and I'm just going to clean up my brows. Okay, so after blending concealer out, I'm going to move on to my eyes, and I'm doing something very simple, like always. I'm taking my face powder, and I'm just going to apply it all over my lids. Going to warm up my crease by using my bronzer and I'm just going to blend everything together back and forth very simple next I'm taking my NYC liquid liner and I'm just going to line my eyes and then apply my falsies which is optional you do not have to do this so now I'm going to color correct and I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color orange and also in the color fine. I love mixing these two together. You know, it's like my perfect um, color correcting shade and it don't make like my foundation turn orange. So moving on to foundation, I'm using the Makeup Forever HD in the color 177, I believe. And I'm just going to apply that all over my face, blending it out with my um, buffing brush. To prevent creasing around my mouth area, I like to take my setting powder and hurry up and set around my mouth area so that I won't have no creasing. Next I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color medium beige and I'm just going to highlight the areas I would like to stand out. Then I'm just taking my beauty blender and like blend out all the highlighted area and I'm making sure I blend very very well. I'm taking my Sasha Butterscotch setting powder and I'm just going to set the highlighted areas so they will not crease. Next I'm going back in with my Maybelline setting powder and I'm just going to set the rest of my face. Then I'm just taking the same powder brush and knock off the excess um, Butterscotch. contour today I'm using the Anastasia um, contour palette and I'm just going to contour the areas I would like to add some depth in Next, 
just want to add some warmth back into my face so I'm just taking my bronzer and just bronze the area like where I contour it at. Okay, so of course it's time to highlight now and I'm using the Anastasia Glow Kit and I'm just taking the color, I think bubbly, I believe, and I'm just going to highlight the areas I would like to highlight. Yes. Then I'm taking that same highlight and I'm just adding in my tear ducts just to brighten up that area. I just love that look for some reason. Next, I'm going to contour my nose just a little bit and I'm using the same Anastasia Contour Palette. I'm using the lightest shade in that palette. So now I'm just adding some mascara to my lower lashes and then I'm just taking my towel and just wiping off the excess gloss that I have so I can apply my lipstick which I am using by MAC and I don't remember the name but I will list it down below and I'm just going to add some more gloss on top of that. taking my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and I'm just going to set my face making everything blend together. So this is how everything looks once my face is dry. Okay so moving on to the hair. I did make this unit a couple of days ago. This is DY Hair 777 European um, Natural Wave I believe and I have an in inches 18, 20, 22 and 22 with a 16 inch lace frontal. And I'm just showing you guys how the hair looked when I first received it. As you can see, it is gorgeous like always. This is actually my favorite hair from them. So I've been wearing it to sleep lately, so I just tied up in a bun in the back. So I just undyed my bun and I'm just going to separate the hair into two sections and just, you know, start from the bottom, working my way up, just um, detangling the hair. And all I do next is I take a water bottle and I just spray it to like reactivate the curls. And then next I'm taking my um, Argan Oil Foaming Mousse and I'm just going to apply it all over the hair. And to tell you the truth, like I really don't do nothing major to this hair in the morning time. I take the little section in the front and pin it back with a bobby pin so it won't be all in my face. And this is actually like my favorite little hairstyle to do. I do this all the time. <laughs> Next, I'm going to do my baby hair in the front and I just take the mousse and I just place it like in the front and I just comb like the baby hair where I would like it to go. And this is how it looks once I finish wetting it in the morning. And to tell you the truth, it do not take long to dry at all. So I'm just going to let this dry and I'm just going to come back and show you guys the final look. Okay, so this is the final look. The hair is completely dry and gorgeous like always. This is the perfect hair to wear every day. If you want to just get up and go. Like spray a little water in it, activate the curls girl, and that's it. You are on your way. Um, I don't have any problems with any shedding or anything with this hair. Um, at nighttime, I just wrap it in like a ball in the back or sometimes a pineapple. Get up in the morning, detangle throw some water in there and ready to go okay all together it takes me about 20 to 25 minutes to do this look in the morning and if i don't wear lashes it'll be like less time oh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye